Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 5th, 2023. Well, yesterday we saw a little bit of bearish activity, might have raised a little bit of concern as we left behind some patterns that um, raised some uncertainty, but there was really no technical damage overall. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, obviously, um, yesterday I had marked this line up here as the next resistance level in the chart. And um, that resistance level, we, we did react negatively to that resistance level. And I had mentioned kind of that double whammy here in the diamonds with that downtrend as well here to be uh, paid attention to. And unfortunately, we found that resistance and found a little bit of bearish activity. What really happened yesterday is we got the job openings report number that declined pretty sharply. That's something that the Fed wants to see happen. And um, what it is showing us is that potential of our economy slowing. And then there was quite a few reports yesterday about um, recession, uh, pending recession, those kind of things that raised a little bit of concern out there bringing in some bearish activity. Now, when we take a look at this chart, certainly we still have resistance there to be worried about. If those bulls today can find inspiration, well then I would look for a retest of this level up here. And if we can punch through that, maybe just a little bit higher up here toward this downtrending line here in the diamonds, if those uh, bears continue to find inspiration today, well, I'm gonna look right in here. As you can see right across this area, there is some price support in here. And if that were to hold, we could bounce right in that area again. But if that were to fail, I'm afraid we're gonna to have to come down here to the bottoms of these little um, support levels in the chart. A little top right in there, a little bit of price um, resistance or support right in there. We may have to come back into this area. Now keep in mind, that's a pretty big point move and could be a little bit painful if that were to occur. The other thing that we would uh, potentially have to worry about it. it kind of depends on how you draw this trend if you draw this uptrend in here obviously that's a pretty steep trend um, but if we draw this trend out here well maybe what we're going to do is just pull back and rest and if we were to pull back and rest as we head toward the next round of earnings reports honestly that wouldn't be a major surprise so uh, kind of keep an eye on that we could really see the market begin to slow down get a little bit lethargic with the uncertainty about next quarter's earnings so that possibility does exist let's take a look at our spy now SPY as you can see um, rallied up nicely yesterday, uh, not yesterday, but tried to pop yesterday and move up. And unfortunately, it ended up leaving behind kind of a bearish engulfing candle there on that chart. Now, looking at this, obviously, we have broken through, okay, this uh, little downtrend resistance that we had in uh, the chart. But we ran into price resistance right here. And that price resistance, as you can see, kind of extends across that chart a long ways. And uh, saw that little bit of bearish activity coming in. Now, the question for today is if those bulls can find inspiration, will we retest or pop through this resistance? If we can pop through that resistance up there, then I would suggest we move on higher here a little bit. We test some of these other resistance levels just slightly higher above in the chart. But if those bears find inspiration on the day, well, I'm thinking maybe a push down into this area right in here could be possible. You can see we'll catch this top right here. We'll catch this bottom right in here. And if that doesn't hold, 
Well, then it gets pretty ugly and we can get a big point move to the downside and test some of these um, levels, maybe right across through here in the chart. So watch that uh, carefully for today. Now, one of the things that we do have going for us here in um, the SPY is we've got this um, upside trend uh, going on in here. So any pullback in here really doesn't create too many problems initially if we can hold some of these support levels and once again it might not be that big of a surprise to see us kind of soften up and get a little bit choppy here as we wait for um, next the next round of earnings and by the way um, they have shifted BlackRock and there were some mistakes I think um, in the reporting but um, everything is going to really kick off for earnings season with the big banks on the 14th of this month so we've got a little bit of time to wait that uncertainty circling circling around and you know in the traders minds um, could certainly create that pause um, in the market. A little bit of uncertainty creates some chop. Then if we take a look at our technicals here um, in our um, SPY, I forgot to do that in the Dow, but if we look at this, there really was no damage here in our technicals on those charts. So I don't think there's any particular worry. What I'm trying to say is I don't think there's any reason to be running for the door in panic at all, but there may be a little bit of um, well, just uneasiness um, starting to form up here in the market when we think about these things coming in the future and what that might mean for us um, in the market. If we take a look at our um, QQQ, still remains the strongest of the indexes by far, also the most overbought. Um, at the moment by far. So as you can see, we've got this upside trend working in here and um, we found a little bit of price resistance here yesterday. I wasn't expecting us to find some price resistance right in here, but we certainly did. And if that, you know, we've got these little points right across through here, found that little bit of resistance, a little bit of selling came in, um, kind of a spinning top doji up here, nothing major um, in the QQQ, they held up strong. Now I will tell you it was mostly held up by just a very select few of the giant tech um, companies out there. Everything else was a little bit on the soft side. But um, watching that closely, just kind of keep in mind if those bears were to be inspired, could be a rather painful pullback coming back into here. And I do want to point out this trend, that possibility that we could back up in here and really be waiting for the 14th, just chopping in a zone, waiting for uh, the 14th of the month and the beginning of earnings. If those bulls find inspiration, let's see if they can pop this resistance right in here. And then I'm going to suggest we um, have that opportunity to push up to some of these next levels in the chart. So just keep a close eye on that. Technically, once again, no damage uh, created here yesterday in the QQQ. So again, no reason for panic. Um, looking at our IWM, however, IWM uh, maybe raised some eyebrows here yesterday. Um, a pretty ugly rejection um, up here around this resistance level in the chart. And you can see right in here, we found some of these resistance areas in here. And boy, did we reject and we rejected it pretty hard and we came back down and we tested this big break of the bear trend and we're setting right there as support. So the good news is that we didn't lose that support. And if the bulls find um, the energy to defend this area, we can then have that chance to reattack to the upside. But unfortunately, we did lose that support area here in the chart and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this back to red because that creates another level of price resistance here in the chart so as we rally back up we'll want to be watching that for a potential resistance area in the chart and if we were to fail in there that could be a problem if we can break back above and hold it as support then look for a retest of that downtrend resistance in the chart. So if those bulls get going, just a test up in here seems likely if we can break through there, 
maybe a push up into here and if those bears find inspiration today this could be ugly if the bears were to push this below this uh, trend this big trend break here I think we could move pretty sharply lower if that were the case remember this is a possible lower high and last time we made that lower high we made a lower low so could we make a lower low here I think the possibility does exist, so be a little bit careful and cautious there. And here in the charts, we do have some technical damage, noticing that we failed underneath our 200-day moving average. We failed around that 34 EMA. Our, our moving averages here are not showing us all that much um, certainty um, in uh, that chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX has been really interesting and I don't know I, I've mentioned this before I don't know if this is because there's so much activity in the zero data expiration options they're creating some of this um, uh, some of the news reports are saying 40 45 percent sometimes of the entire volume of the market in options is now becoming the zero data expiration options which is a very high risk trade um, and um, well, uh, one of these days that's probably going to draw the attention of the SEC and, and it's going to punish us all. But one of the things we have been seeing is very odd activity here in the VIX. It's, it's as if um, nobody really cares. And so we saw that selling yesterday. We spiked up a little bit. And then as we um, rallied right at the end of the day, that sank right back down in here into this support level of the chart. So looking at this, you'd have to say there really is no fear here in the market at all. If we can get some bullish activity going here today, then we could see that fall through that level. If those um, bears were to attack, show their teeth a little bit then we might rally up out of here but very interesting here on the vix if we take a look at our t2122 this is something we really really needed we needed that t2122 to relieve some of the pressure here in the market now <laughs> Uh, about 30 minutes before the market closed, we were pushing down in here toward the 50% area in that chart. And then that surge right at the end of the day um, pushed us back up here. So um, if we were to take a look um, and find bullish inspiration today in the economic data, then um, look for a press back up here toward that bearish reversal zone. And if we find, if we happen to find uh, those um, bears find inspiration today, I would look for that possibility uh, that we push on lower. Remember, we've still got a lot of opportunity to move lower here if those bears were to engage. Not saying they will, but let's watch for that carefully. If we look at our T2108, our T2108, the percentage of stocks holding above their 40-day moving average relieved some of that pressure yesterday. We pulled back from a little bit of price resistance in the chart, as you can see right here, but no damage, uh, no damage whatsoever. Just a little bit of rest, a little, little repeat preve, and we needed that. If we can hold some support levels in here, no harm, no foul. If we were to find follow through from those bears, however, well, look for uh, some of those to break and maybe we come back down in here and test some of these levels in the chart. Um, it's about 34% of the stocks holding above their 40 day um, probably raises a little bit of uncertainty out there in the market. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also relieved some of that overbought pressure. We found a little bit of price resistance in the chart, pulled back ever so slightly here. Again, no harm, no foul. Obviously we are respecting this trend at the moment and that does provide a little bit of uncertainty out there. But um, if we pull back and find support in this area, I don't think we've got any problem here uh, just yet. If we were to find that and bounce off, we're in good shape. It's if we were to start breaking that down, that's where um, more fear might start coming into the market. Uh, 43, 44% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. So uh, keep a close eye on that. Our uh, T2101, which is to show us momentum 
momentum of the market. Well, we kind of lost a little bit of that momentum yesterday for that upside move. And I had mentioned this downtrend here. And we certainly did respect that yesterday, just pulling back a little bit. Not enough to cause a major issue here. Volume was low as well yesterday. Um, so I'm not sure it's giving us the best of data when our volume drops off so dramatically. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And first off, uh, we've already gotten in a report here this morning on our mortgage applications. Mortgage applications came in pretty darn weak. We were uh, 2.9 prior. It was a negative 4.1 week over week negative 3.5 and a refinance uh, came in at a negative 5.4 so again i think we're starting to see you know these economic numbers have been hinting they've been telling us that our economy is weakening weakening we've been really working to ignore that those data points but um maybe they're starting to build up some pressure here as we move through the day here notice that at 8 15 we're going to be getting the adp report um it can have that possibility of moving the market they are looking for a fairly substantial decline in that report which again would kind of lean toward that economy weakening uh situation so watch carefully for that international trading goods we tend to eat, although this is uh, noted as a, a market moving report it's been a long time um, since we have seemed to care uh, about this number it, it continues to be a very strong deficit and nobody cares we rarely get any price move out of that uh, I don't know why we don't care about it, but for some reason we've decided we don't care about it. Um, we've got PMI composite numbers. We've got an ISM services number. ISM services is uh, consensus is suggesting that declines, but still clinging in there above that 50 mark, which shows there's a little bit of growth. Um, it will be interesting with the economic numbers that we have seen and the slowing that we're seeing, if that number were to drop below 50, um, that could also create a little bit of bearish reaction in the market. So watch that closely. Kind of critical holding in there around that 50 area on ISM. And then we're going to have that petroleum status number. And this could be interesting today with that recent surge in oil prices and that decision from OPEC. If we were to see a decline um, in supplies, uh, well, then um, look for those prices to be um, supported um in oil and gas and that creates another problem for the fed here so watch that closely if we happen to see some kind of build in supplies however that could soften up that oil number and um, really start to settle things down but it might also signal that our economy is weakening uh, when we get builds in supplies it means people aren't traveling they're not moving around as much because they're conserving their capital and um, that build in supply could actually support the OPEC um, cut in production. So, um, well, keep an eye on it. Um, remember, as we move into Thursday, we've got jobless claims. We've got um, uh, James Bullard speaking in here, and we've got a natural gas report with some bond auctions. And this is going to be an interesting situation. You want to think carefully about the risk that you're taking into this uh, three-day weekend. And the reason is we're going to get that employment situation report on Friday and the market's closed. So whatever reaction we get out of this number will probably be perceived on Monday, which means we could get some kind of gap up or gap down situation um, on Monday as a result of this number. So just think carefully about the risk that you have going into this three day weekend and plan carefully. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar continues to be really light and that's no big surprise. I, I only came up with three notables for today. We're gonna hear from ConAgra. Um, so keep an eye on ConAgra. It looks like it tried to move lower, but it's trying to uh, bounce back higher here this morning. So watch that. Um, we've got SCHN. SCHN will be reporting today. Now, Steel, 
Ooh, Steel had a really rough day yesterday, but looks like um, SCHN is trying to uh, buck that that move yesterday in steel. So keep an eye on that one. And SMPL, SMPL will be reporting. Looks like uh, Package Foods getting a pretty big slap here this morning. Uh, big uh, um, ugly pre-market activity there on that. So watch it close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, just that quick favor again. If you this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that um, subscribe button. Click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Please make sure and click those thumbs up buttons. Leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Again, just a big shout out to everyone who supports the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just right below the title of the video and that also shares these videos out on their social media feed. Um, I do truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. How about we take a look at some stock setting up? And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've gotta do your own due diligence and be thinking very, very carefully about the risk of these trades. The volatility of this market is still pretty high and the intraday whipsaws have been substantial. So remember, every trade, make sure you're following your risk tolerance and your rules for management of those positions. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade idea. Well, I had mentioned yesterday that steel, steel got hit pretty hard. Take a look at U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel putting in a lower high failure pattern. This is what we call a good short setup um, in charts where we break down here that is an ugly ugly setup here and we saw that happening in u.s steel um, we saw that happening in um, cleveland cliffs big ugly here failing at price resistance in the chart um, watch carefully if that were to break this support level um, there is some downside here in that chart notice that we're holding right there at our 200 day moving average on this but one of the things that you don't want to see is you don't want to see those 50 day moving averages rounding over like that that creates um, some bearishness in those charts take a look at uh, steel dynamics if you're looking for a short um, might be a little bit hard to get into it at this moment because it moved so much yesterday but pretty ugly pattern here in steel dynamics another place that's looking kind of sketchy would be uh, the financial sector take a look at xlf xlf rallying back into some resistance here finding some sellers here yesterday they've been fighting here hard on these financials trying to suggest oh the contagion has been con you know it, it's all good no, no problems here but i just have to imagine it it's not going to be um, easy for these banks to report good results this next quarter. So watch that carefully as we head toward those bank earnings. We could see a little bit more pressure coming in here on um, XLF. Now, I have a bias here. I am short on this position just uh, for full disclosure. Um, but I plan to be out of this position. Uh, before we start the big bank earnings. So I'm just looking for that pressure to come in, that uncertainty to push this down. So watch that. And then let's take a look at some of the individual banks. Take a look at WFC. Oh my goodness. Um, pretty ugly here on that chart. So again, we're seeing those pressures build here on some of these banks. Watch those financials. It's going to be it's usually really difficult for the markets to perform well when the banks are suffering. So um, keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at some bullish charts. Take a look at um, AMD. AMD has been resting, consolidating. You guys know I've been talking about this. I own AMD, got a nice profit in it. I've been hoping that it would hold on to this price support in here. You can see we're hanging right in that area. That line should be probably moved down into here. Um, trying to hang on into this area. What I'd like to see this do is now kind of rest out here toward the trend. But there is that possibility we could continue to pull back and sink back into this trend like we did right in here. 
continue uh, that move. But I got to tell you, this trend is holding so nice right now. Still think there's um, opportunity for some bullish action here in AMD. I would watch that closely. Take a look at gold. Oh my goodness, gold, gold miners. Um, it, holy moly really big pop yesterday as we see this dollar weakening and that uncertainty about the economy uh, folks are looking to pick up some protection for wealth and gold and silver is a place that folks will often do that so big surge here in gold and silver now i would tell you that i think this is really overbought at the moment that it needs a pullback it needs a rest um, and that could occur at any time but when we see the dollar continuing to show weakness here well um, then we may have gold and silver continue to surge higher again taking a look at silver big pop here silver breaking out yesterday of that resistance area in the chart now a rest or pullback would set up a nice opportunity in silver so keep an eye on that you might also want to be keeping an eye on phys which is a physical gold um, um, uh, trust that you can you're actually buying physical gold not paper gold like gld and um uh, PSLV for silver and here again that broke this resistance yesterday very very strong in gold and silver so I would watch for a pullback I wouldn't want to chase this right now into an entry but at the same time if if panic starts coming up that the economy is weakening we could really see um, these continue to surge so watch that closely guys I'm running out of time today I was a little bit too wordy I guess in my conversation on the indexes I apologize I'm going to cut this off here today I want to wish you all a fantastic Wednesday be safe be careful see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning have an awesome awesome day.